Hello everybody, it is Badge Wild and we are back with a brand new Space Engineers ship review video. This time I am reviewing a very interesting ship that I've already shown before. But before we get started, if you guys enjoy this content and you like what I do on this channel or you're just simply new, be sure to hit that like, give me a comment, and if you're new, subscribe to the channel. Love having y'all here and love hearing y'all's thoughts and answering your questions on any of these videos you guys help make this possible also the channel is at 15,000 or not 15,000 1500 subscribers already which i am trying to come up with something special for you guys to be able to you know enjoy in this monumentous accomplishment that you guys have helped me reach because it couldn't have been done without you but without further ado let's get started on this ship review now y'all have seen this ship before And it is called the Matsumo class battleship. Now this is a a very interesting little ship. And I would say if you guys are running a survival game, even maybe on a limited server, this might be a limited enough PCU you could use this on console servers. I'm not sure. I don't play on console, so <clears throat> get back to me on that. Anyway, this is the Matsumo class battleship. Was development of Imperial Battleship began in Yanari here. All oh, this is mostly lore. So if you guys want to look at this, you can later. It is done by Yaki Yaki, and uh, we're gonna give it a like because it is an interesting little ship. And when I say little, it it is a fairly compact, probably what you call a pocket battleship, I suppose, or a micro battleship. But anyway, let's get started on checking out this thing's interior and stuff. So. Looking back over here, this is the Matsumo. And you can see this is a pretty well-designed ship. I do like the side thrusters here. This thing is designed to strafe and move these big, heavy thrusters. We've got a nice, interesting thruster pack in the back, which just looks amazing. Especially if you get up close, the closer you get, you just have so much more detail coming in as you're looking at it. Checking it out here, this thing has enough... I believe these are not the assault cannon variant i believe these are just straight up artillery guns that you can use just to punch holes in the bad guys you got plenty of those to shoot with and we've got several point defense guns not a whole lot of point defense guns this thing is probably more along the lines of a ship killer going underneath here we've got a limited amount of lifting thrust so this probably can't go into atmosphere <coughs> so it is primarily just that in space vessel that moves around looks almost like the kurosawa from uh, armor core but continuing on here as i completely forget how far off i just ran away from the ship we look up at the front and this is where the meat and potatoes the business end of this ship is at we have 12 artillery fixed artillery guns up here to just ruin somebody's day if you can get these on target this will just shred through an enemy ship like it's nothing so if you want something for those pesky reavers, y'all could break this thing out and have some fun with it. What's real interesting is the interior of this ship, because go inside, it's not, it's pretty spartan. You have this particular room here, which has our survival kit, a couple of lockers to store guns with. This is not the ship that you take off and go flying in. This is the ship that you have at the station. And you see the Reavers coming, you just hop into it real quick, jump in and begin the fight. Check this first area here, and we have our first room. We've got little kitchenette systems. Look, some of this stuff is older stuff, but it is still a very interesting ship. We have bathroom, shower combo, we have two beds, so it'll support up to two crew members at the very least. And we have the bridge, and that is it. Yes, that is that is the entirety of the ship now. So hopping in, the question is, how fast is this thing? And with three large hydrogen thrusters, she's about as fast as you think she is. And down there, it appears we have a problem. Let's move in on that. <laughs> Let's see what he's doing. Now, we may not get to this guy, actually, no. We, yeah, 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 we will, we will, we will. I'll edit out the 
transition to get there. So anyway, folks, we are now closing in, as you can hear, with the artillery guns. Let's see if we can hit it with this big main cannon right here. And for some reason, the big guns aren't working. Why are the big guns not working? Oh, well. <clears throat> oh, well, we're hammering the far out of it now, so... Oh, it's a derelict of some type. Okay. That's one thing I love about the artillery guns. Is they just drop stuff on things. Apparently I still have... That may be what's going on. I may have Weapon Core up on this. Which is why it's not... <clears throat> I couldn't access the artillery guns, but this thing is completely vanilla. There's no weird modifications, no weird stuff like that that normally wouldn't you would have to like weird mods or anything else you have to put up. This is perfect for console players. So if you play on like minimal, like very very minimal mod environment, if you're like on Xbox or something, you can just turn this sucker on and play with it. And it it is a pretty solidly designed ship. Like I said. Uh, other than the fact that I couldn't get the main guns working, I think that is weapon core. Because sometimes weapon core will clash with fixed weapon systems. Otherwise, you can see here, this thing can run right up to an enemy ship and just start blasting away at it. And even though that's a stationary one, you still have those 12 guns in the front that would just release an unmitigated amount of damage against an enemy target. So that's, that's the beauty of this particular ship. Anyway, folks... <clears throat> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, I'm still a little sick, so please forgive me for being just absolutely sick out of my head for a little bit and having and me am having my little cold going on. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, would love to also state to y'all thank you for getting us to 1,500 subscribers. You guys are awesome. Uh, honestly, could not build a channel like this without you guys in tow, <clears throat> standing there helping out almost every single day, subscribing to this channel, liking the videos, watching them in mass. Uh, I, I honestly have to say I am blessed with having a viewership that will sit there and watch where I can consistently create a video and more than half of the viewership is there almost all the time, which means you are all supporting the videos you're you're every one of you are supporting every other video that comes out on this channel and i i thank you guys for it i love every minute of it uh, because of you guys the channel has grown and i am currently in the process of figuring out something cool i can build for the channel or do for you guys i just have not figured out what that cool thing is yet i've got some ideas and I plan on getting Survival Under Fire back up at some point in time. It is coming back. You guys seem to enjoy it. And a lot of people are now looking through it wondering, where is Survival Under Fire? It is coming back, folks. Don't worry. We're going to be a little bit a little bit different in how we're going to do things. But things are going to be working. We're still going to be trying to survive while getting shot at. I'm going to try and give myself just a few more resources to get past that initial stage of... Uh, bull crap where we can't get nothing done and we're gonna try and really industrialize this time around build some crazy crazy big ships i'm currently trying to build some designs for early game that'll give us you know just a tactical edge and we'll have some interesting enemies in the process but anyway thank you all for watching this video and as always be sure to like comment and subscribe and check the videos out on rumble we have them over there and that helps us out tremendously Thank you all, and I will see you all in the next video. This is Badger Wild saying stay safe, stay frosty, and I am signing out.